Hey guys, it's Mr. Anonymity Trade coming to you with a trade confirmation from Skater Boy Colt. Um, I've been waiting for this trade for a while, so let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my. Um, packaged rather elaborately. I'm actually surprised it only took them two stamps. After a bit of self-deliberation, I've determined that it would just be easier to cut the bottoms off of the top loaders. So that's what I'm going to do. I wasn't going to reuse this packaging anyway. It's got scotch tape all over it. Alright, didn't even get the, the sleeve in it, so that's good. Get another cut across this top loader. opening was a little bit unorthodox, but I got the job done. Okay, let me just confirm that all the trade stock is indeed here. Let's see. And of course, make sure everything is in decent condition, which it looks like it is. Okay. So, here's what we got in the trade. I have a Gideon Jura, an Angelic Overseer, an Adaptive Automaton, a Foil Micaeus the Lunark, two Phyrexian Crusaders, So, um, I had to pause the video and, and begin recording again just so I could collect my thoughts uh, about this whole um, ordeal, I would term it. Uh, I'm not going to say that Skater Boy Colt is unsafe, because I do not believe that he is. But he's certainly not what I would call a good trader. Um... We made it, we struck a deal for a sword of body and mind about a month ago. I, actually, over a month at this point. Um, and I didn't really, I didn't really have any wants from his binder necessarily. And I asked if we could trade for booster packs. He said yes, and we had the trade arranged. We arranged to send out, I was going to send second, he was going to send first. But he indicated that he had some urgent F and M once, and you know, I decided that it would probably, you know, it would be nice, especially since he seemed like a newer trader, to send him those F and M once as extras in our trade. So I sent first, sent him the sword as well as the other things he needed for his deck, and uh, called it a day, and figured he would uh, send out and come in with his end of the end of the trade. A uh, week went by. I waited for a week and a half to contact him and see what was going on, uh, make sure everything was on the up and up, at which point he indicated to me that he was not able to get the booster packs. Uh, being understanding, I decided to give him a uh, time extension and say, you know, just get him out to me as soon as you can. I understand completely. You know, sometimes things don't go as planned. Two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks go by. Um, you know, Still no booster packs. I message him again, see what's going on. Uh, same story as last week. My patience is getting a little thin, but I decided to give him another extension. Three and a half weeks go by. Uh, same story. And it's at this point that I find out that he's been going to F&Ms and opening booster packs rather than sending them to me. Uh, his explanation being he wanted to send me the full amount rather than uh, save up booster packs from week to week. Um, at this point, I'm very frustrated. Um, I gave him another extension, but I told him that I was very, very irritated at this lapse. It's at this point, four weeks later, about a month, that I messaged him again, having seen a trade binder video of his uh, stating that he went to F&M and purchased a booster box uh, and had pulled things from them. Of course, at this juncture, I was, I thought I was safe in assuming that that meant he had my packs and he would be sending out soon. Uh, but I was incorrect. 
he had actually opened all the cards and then proceeded to attempt to deceive me into believing that they were not his cards, they were in fact his friend's cards. And I'll leave it up to you whether you want to believe that or not, but I most certainly don't. Um, so as I said, he's not unsafe, but he certainly, in my opinion, is a bad trader. I mean, this these cards that I got from him are supposed to be a replacement so I could sell them to ABU Games and recover my packs, but um, he shorted me one card, but the Isolated Chapel is not here, and um, the Gideon that he sent me is in played condition all around. It's just been whiting all around the edges. So I'm going to sell this at a loss, as well as uh, the Go for the Throat has some clouding. I'll probably ask, uh, probably ask Rocks of Box and how to get that off before I sell it. But you know, even with a vanilla trade like this, he wasn't able to uh, bring everything together. And frankly, it's disappointing, especially after I extended myself to make so many concessions for him early on. Um, and I was really excited about this trade, so it just left a really, really um, sour taste in my mouth. So, you know, like I said, he's not unsafe, but he's not a good trader, and I would not suggest trading him. I suppose the rule would apply that, you know, let the buyer beware if you decide to do uh, dealings with, trade, you know, Skateable with Colt. Know that if there are not complications, then you, you've been lucky, or the trade has been small enough, because he, he mishandled our trade, in my opinion, egregiously, and uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat my words about it, because I'm very disappointed. There have been other traders who have fallen through on trades with me, and have rectified their mistakes, and Skateboy Colt, in my opinion, has not taken the proper steps. So... Um, you know, he has ample opportunity to, uh, you know, to prove me, prove me wrong in the future. But, I, I mean, even there was no consideration for my end of the trade. I sent him so many extras for his deck and the card he wanted before I should have even sent it. And not only did he not send any extras to me to reciprocate, but after making me wait a month, not only did I not get what I wanted in the trade, he did not send the full replacement trade that he should have. And I think that's ridiculous. So Skateboard Colt, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I'm thoroughly disappointed with our trade. Um, and that it will take some major salvaging for me to uh, desire to trade with you in the future. And as I said, anyone who takes my opinion seriously on any of these matters, I would suggest extreme caution uh, should you be approached by him or should you be approaching him. Well, that's really all I have to say about the matter. Um, if you have any questions, PM me. Otherwise, this is Mr. Anonymity Trade telling you to trade safe.